Hello, my name is Chris Chibu and I'm your Hope Catalyst. Today, I'm going to be telling you about the fourth type of stress and how to fix it. Over the last three videos I did, I talked to you about time stress, anticipatory stress, and also situational stress. Every time there is a demand on you, you actually give something. Whether it's knowingly or unknowingly, you're giving something. And usually, um, when we do not put measures in place, we get stressed up when that demand is placed on us. Today, I'm going to be telling you about encounter stress and how to manage it. Encounter stress is all about people. It's sometimes called contact overload. Um, it's usually the kind of stress that comes as a result of your contact with people and what you when you're not expecting someone or expecting how the person will react or you are not even you're unsure of how someone is going to react to you that's what encounter stress is all about um, if i go down memory lane i would remember when i used to have a sales job and i'm unsure of what my customer's response will be every time i go to them to go and sell to them especially when i have a new product that you know i've sold to them and it's probably not moving as fast as i thought it would move and so because i am not sure of what it is that a response would be it puts me in a kind of state of um anxiety and you know before i know it i get tensed up and i get really stressed on how to actually manage that so that's encounter stress it's all about people interacting with people and not being very sure and sometimes some people even have encounter stress when they have to talk to their managers to their bosses and you know you don't know how the person will react or maybe you have done something um you know wrong at a time and you just don't know what the reaction will be from the other person so you get into that place where you um become jittery yeah so that's encounter stress but there are ways to mitigate against this stress and how you can manage it what i'm going to be doing is share with you a step-by-step -step approach to how you can really deal with the encounter stress the first thing that you need to know about encounter stress is honestly you need to prepare 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 um if if you're selling a product to someone if you're going to be having a meeting with your boss and you don't know how they will react you need to prepare uh, way ahead of that meeting you need to prepare way ahead before you have that encounter with the person and i think preparation just really puts you in that spot where it helps you um to really get to um, manage things the second thing that you can really do is empathy and you know because i've talked about encounter stress as um you know when you encounter people um or when you have to relate with people just imagining instances when you have to deal with someone that's had a loss and because they've had something um that they really care about taking away from them the last thing is you know they don't just really want to talk to people so don't, you don't know how they are going to react uh, so empathy is the way to go in that instance usually when you are able to empathize and come into the situation of the person that you're relating with they are more open to talk to you they are more open to share with you uh whatever it is um that they are going through and their response to you also is um favorable or they they are more accepting when you're interacting with them i was joking with my daughter yesterday but i really meant it and i told her that it's impossible for you to give someone a smile and then the person is honestly responding back to you with a frown when you continue to smile what happens is it becomes contagious and then they also are able to um, respond with to you with a smile in return so empathy is a good way to approach when you want to uh, deal or manage encounter stress and finally finally what i think really works is also um, you getting to understand yourself and knowing the point at which 
you get tensed up and you know um you are on the edge if you really understand yourself and you know your persona and you know what it is that gets to you as you're meeting with people and you're interacting with them you know when it is that they are going um for lack of a better word past their boundaries and you know when to withdraw and not stay in that situation because if you really understand yourself why give permission to someone to put you under pressure i think that what you need to do in that instance is as soon as you can see it coming close all you need to do is give it some gap and then uh you know excuse yourself from that situation that it's going to mess your head up so much over the last four videos what i have done is told you about four different types of stress and how to manage them if you did not watch the video on time stress anticipatory stress or situational stress i want to tell you to just go to those videos and watch them and see how to manage the stress that is coming into your life and that way you will definitely be a better person and be able to live your life and take control and charge of your life have an amazing day